Hello everyone, thanks for joining us on our video tutorials for the 2600 and 2630 display. My name is Brad Zarr with 21st Century Equipment and today I will be showing you how to configure your 1910 commodity air cart. To navigate to the configure or setup soft key, go to the primary menu page, then choose air cart. As you see here, this is the air cart run page. Here you can set up your meters and air cart, keep track of your totals, and run diagnostics. Today we'll just focus on the air cart setup. Note that if you see an arrow pointing up to an icon, this means setup. Push the setup air cart soft key. The configuration page is now displayed. You should see three tabs, cart, tool, and sensor. In the cart tab, set up your tire and row sprocket, size of air cart, and remote switch options. Also don't forget if you are equipped with variable rate capabilities, check the variable rate box in the upper right hand corner. In the tool tab, set up your air seater by choosing the model, width, and row spacing from each drop down menu. If your air cart is running double shoot, Check the DS or double shoot checkbox in the upper right hand corner. Your adjusted width is programmed into the display. If it is not, you can enter in the correct value. This is the icon for moving to the next page. Depending on the width of the cedar, the display should show the number of towers and the number of secondaries that is attached to each tower. If these values are incorrect, enter the corrected values. Select the checkbox for the tanks to indicate which tank feeds the towers. In the sensors tab, in the drop down menu, select tire speed. This chart shows the tire sizes and their corresponding travel units in centimeters per revolution and inches per revolution. This will give you an approximate measure. For more accurate calibration, you can mark a 400 foot course and drive at seating speeds by pressing the calibration soft key. Read the instructions and when done, press accept. Another way is to match your GPS speed with your tire speed. To obtain a GPS speed, go to the primary menu, star fire soft key, and your GPS speed is shown here. If speed does not match, play with the inches per revolution value until they do. Back into the drop down menu, select height. You have a choice between common or separate. Common means that your meter will engage and disengage at the same point. Separate means that you can engage and disengage at two different points. Check the option that you would like. Press raise tool soft key. Raise the tool completely and then press accept. Press the lower tool soft key. Lower the tool completely. Note that the tool needs to be at its deepest depth. To do this, lower the tool and drive forward so that the tool sinks fully into the ground. Then press accept. Next, select the start stop soft key. Raise the tool until the desired meter start stop height is achieved. The current tool height is displayed as a percentage. When done, select set height soft key. It is recommended to start and stop height when the tool touches the soil surface. When done, select Accept. The same procedure works for the separate checkbox as well. However, with the separate checkbox, it is recommended that you engage the meter just before the openers touch the ground and disengage just before the openers leave the ground. And that's it. You have successfully configured your 1910 commodity air cart. For further references or if you have any questions, please refer to your operator's manual or contact your local 21st Century Equipment dealer. Please feel free to view more videos on other setups and calibration procedures. Also browse around for more tutorials, troubleshooting, and tips on other John Deere equipment. I'm Brad Zarr with 21st Century Equipment, where we are committed on making farming easier for you.